What is going on guys? Thank you guys for tuning back into Adam Finance. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what are the differences between mechanical engineering and industrial engineering. So in this video, I'll try and break down some of the key differences, your salary expectations, and some of the job opportunities that you could be expecting from your undergraduate degree. Before we get started, I don't want to like come off as someone who knows everything about one degree and everything about another degree. I am someone who was studying mechanical engineering for two years at the University of Denver, and I just transferred about a year ago to the Arizona State University, where I'm now studying industrial engineering. So the views that I'm giving you are some coming from someone who has done a little bit of both and just wants to share their experiences with, um, with both of them. I'm not a professor. I'm not someone who has like a degree in mechanical engineering and then a PhD in industrial engineering. I'm just someone who has done a little bit of both, and I think it could be valuable to share some of the differences between them so that maybe you could save yourself two years and not have to do one of them over the other one or I don't know just I think you guys can benefit from this video so what exactly is mechanical engineering mechanical engineering is a field in STEM that uses design construction and the use of a lot of different kind of machines so it's a very hands-on engineering um, where some other engineering types are more of like visual based this is a very hands-on you're gonna really be working with um, with consultants, people who are in the industry that you are focused in. And we'll talk about some of the industries that mechanical engineers get involved in in a little bit. So what is industrial engineering? Industrial engineering is a field in STEM where you've got a very complex problem that you need to be solved with as little bit of money as possible with as high of efficiency as possible. So basically you're optimizing the systems that are already in place to make them better cost uh, more cost efficient and just move faster and generate the company more revenue so this is a very team based um, team based stem field uh, versus mechanical engineering you might be working with a big team but you are mainly doing things on your own as well although there are some key differences in the definition of each of those types of engineering i'll put the main differences right here and right here so you guys can see for yourself what the actual differences are why exactly did i switch from mechanical engineering to industrial engineering and basically my switch cost me losing almost a year of school so I, if I stayed at the University of Denver studying mechanical engineering right now, I would be a um, like a junior going into my senior year. But right now, I'm kind of like a sophomore going into my junior year at ASU since I did lose a lot of the credits transferring. So I'll kind of answer those questions as to why did you transfer even though you basically lost a whole entire year of school. Although on record, I technically did lose a year of school. Personally, for me, I don't really count that as a year lost. I think that's more of like an extra year of learning that mechanical engineering really was not for me. So like I'm glad I figured it out now versus finishing my degree and then going to work in the field and after like five or ten years I'm like okay well crap this is not for me. I'd rather learn now and just take that extra year and start from a new program that I think will fit me better. Plus with that two years of experience in mechanical engineering from the University of Denver, which we'll call DU from now on. Um, I did have a couple internships that I learned a lot from, and those internships basically taught me that I don't really want to be doing this for the rest of my life, so I needed to have a change. Right when COVID-19 started, DU moved online, and from there I realized that the program they were offering was not really to the standard that I expected from a real accredited university. So I started looking at different universities that kind of extended their deadlines to apply and ASU was one of them, University of Michigan was another, and a couple of them, a couple other schools were on there. However, ASU had the industrial engineering program that I really thought could benefit me, and that honestly I think I should have done from the beginning, but you live and you learn, sometimes you gotta make mistakes. Although I basically moved back those two years of mechanical engineering and started fresh in industrial engineering, I feel like I can still take a lot of those concepts that I learned in mechanical engineering and apply them to what I am doing now in industrial. So. A lot of those things really relate to each other, even though some people might think they're not the same. I still think that a lot of those concepts are very important to know, and it just makes me, as a candidate for a job application, a little more valuable knowing that I do have experience in some of these other fields that do cost a little bit more time to learn. Next thing we're gonna talk about is job opportunities and what you're gonna be expecting out of school. When someone says in high school they wanna become an engineer, a lot of them don't really know which field of engineering they wanna go into. 
and which is why mechanical engineering is kind of like the perfect field for someone who doesn't really know because mechanical engineers typically go to the automotive field, aerospace, um, and biomedical engineering. So mechanical is a very broad suspect, um, very broad topic that allows you to move into so many different fields that if you're more specific, like electrical engineers, stay in electrical engineering. But mechanicals kind of have the ability to jump around to several different aspects of engineering, if that's kind of what you're looking for. Some of the main companies that people like to work for out of college, I mean, I can list a lot of them, but there's Google. The people, people don't think that Google hires mechanical engineers, but they really do. It's like, who designed the Amazon Alexa? A mechanical engineer had to put that through the computer-aided design and actually design that team of electrical engineers designed the internal aspect of that. So there's Google, NASA, JPL, Lockheed Martin, tons of different companies basically that are hiring mechanical engineers. It all depends what you're looking for. Um, so like, are you looking for the aerospace? Are you looking for the automotive? Are you looking for the biomedical? So it really, you gotta narrow it down to what you really want. And people who get a mechanical engineering degree typically go to get their masters in a separate area. So. Uh, a lot of my friends who are mechanical engineering graduates have further um, further their education and gone to get a PhD in one of those certain subjects. So it really just depends on how much you want to work for a degree, what kind of requirements your job has, and just really what your overall interests are in engineering. So likewise to mechanical engineering, industrial engineers also have a ton of different places they can work. I myself have an internship at Amazon this summer. There are a ton of places hiring industrial engineers as well. You can also go work at Google. They're hiring industrial engineers. So it really just shows you that the companies that mechanical engineers are working for, industrial engineers are still there. It's just you're working in a different branch of that company. You're, you're working on specific tasks. Like if you're working on, at like let's say NASA, if you're working at NASA and you are a mechanical engineer, you'll be on the team for designing the rocket. Well, an industrial engineer will be on the team for optimizing the workflow to get the parts to each different section for those mechanical engineers. A mechanical engineer's salary, it really varies between what state you live in. I live in Arizona right now. I lived in Colorado for those two internships. And I've also lived in LA for one of my internships. So it really depends on where you're working to get a median pay salary of what you're uh, what you're going to be earning. So I looked it up just now. Your expected salary is around $71,538 for a mechanical engineer. And like I said, that varies between where you're living. Arizona housing costs are way lower than in Los Angeles. So maybe in Los Angeles, you're going to be expecting like a $90,000 salary. Don't quote me on that. It really just depends on the company. You might get some of that money in cash, some of that money in stock. So it always depends where you're working. For industrial engineers, your salary is around $100,000. In Arizona, I've seen some salaries go starting at $130,000. I've also seen some salaries starting at around $80,000. So it really depends, like I was saying about mechanical engineering, it really depends on where you're working for industrial engineering. Um, it really depends on your state, how experienced you are. If you're like a five-year veteran in industrial engineering, you might be getting paid more than someone who is just starting. So it really depends on what the company wants to pay you, how much experience you have, and how much you're really willing to work. The more you want to work and the more you show that you are passionate about the subject and passionate about helping the company grow and be stronger, you're going to be getting a higher salary, you're going to be getting bonuses every so often. So it really does go a long way. To conclude this video, Basically, I switched to industrial engineering because I didn't think that it was for me. I didn't think mechanical. So, to conclude this video, I just want to say, switching majors is not the easiest thing. Going to school at the University of Denver, at DU, is a very small school, about 5,000 kids. Coming to ASU, where there's around like 100,000 kids, there's going to be a ton of different programs here. We have almost every single type of engineering known in the STEM field. Denver did not. so. Really, switching school is a very difficult task. You really want to make sure you read up on each of these majors before you choose which school you want to go to. In hindsight, I probably should have went to ASU before going to DU, and I could have done mechanical engineering here. However, I didn't apply here in the beginning, but you really just want to think about what you want to do in the future. I know it's hard for people who are in high school. You don't really have that much work experience in a STEM field, so I recommend you just watch some videos, 
maybe work on some projects that are online offered for free or pay a couple bucks to do some projects like like just a mechanical engineering online project where you're designing something could go a long way versus going to school doing two years a couple internships and figuring out that it's not for you that's what i wish i did and that's what i would recommend that you guys do so if you guys like that video please drop a thumbs up and please drop a comment down below i will be happy to answer any questions I'll be making a couple more videos in the series about the differences between my internship experiences and just all of that jazz. So if you guys like that video, thumbs up, drop a comment, and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.